For 40 years, the Pittsburgh Steelers had played hard-nosed football and never won a championship of any kind. Through excellent draft choices, they built themselves into a sound football team. They won the AFC Central Division and ran off with a first-round playoff victory over Oakland. Here were two young, spirited football teams meeting for the AFC Championship and the right to go to the Super Bowl. And we are just about ready to go. Jarella holds his hand high. The ball is on the tee. And the crowd lets go with the roar. Waiting for the uh, whistle for the opening of this AFC Championship game. Here it is. Jarella forward gets the kick high. It is not going to be too deep. It'll be taken by Morris a yard deep. He's out to the 5, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20. And he's across the 20 and nailed at about the 22-yard line. A 23-yard return for Mercury Morris. Morrill, the quarterback, Warfield and Pulley, the wide receivers, swimming the tight end. And Morris, a Jim Kick, rather, is starting at a running back along with Larry Zonka. So Kick and Zonka are the running back. First down, Dolphins from their 22-yard line. Waiting for the snap from center as Pulley's put off the near side. Here's the handoff to Zonka, goes outside, cuts back to his right, puts his head down and gets two to the 24. Dolphins second down and eight from our 24-yard line. We have just started this first quarter. And we have about 14 minutes left to play in the uh, first period of the ballgame. Morris is in now, replacing uh, Kick, and we get an eye formation as far as the backs are concerned in behind Morrill. Pulley splits to the near side. Second down and eight. Dolphins from their 24-yard line. Here's Morrill. Here is the fake on the end of the round. Morrill swings the screen out to Morris. Flips, and is nailed for a while. And that will bring up the third down and 14 for Miami. Rick, from all indications, it looks like that Pittsburgh defense is just playing it straight away. No fancy stuff, just come on at us. We're ready to take care of you. All right, third long yardage. Warfield splits far side, pulling to the near side. Chicken Zonka the split back. Morrill drops the throw. He fires out of the backfield, or second tight end. Jim Mandage catches the ball out of bounds on the far side at the 23, but there's a flag on the play. And we are going to get a uh, personal foul call against the Pittsburgh Steelers. So it gives Miami a first down, allows them to retain possession of the ball and continue the drive, and the position of the football is the Miami 38-yard line. First down as the Steelers get sacked with a 15-yard personal foul call. Warfield splits far side, fully to the near side, kicking Zonka to split back. And behind Morrill, handoff to Zonka, pounds the middle, and he's still digging across the 40 and gets out to about the 41-yard line. Picks up three, it'll be a second down and seven. Morris and Zonka in the eye, fully split to the near side. Here's the handoff, Zonk through a hole in the middle. He gets out to the 45, maybe to the 46-yard line. Jim Kick comes in, replacing Morris. It'll be a third down and two yards to go. The ball at the Miami 45-and-a-half-yard line, for accuracy's sake, we'll call it the 46. Third down and two. We made remark that uh, before the game started, they, we didn't notice any slips from either team on this turf, but the Dolphins have been having problems keeping their uh, footing so far. Morrill drops the throw. He fires out. It is caught by tight end Mark Fleming across the 50, and he is gang tackled out of bounds on the far side of the field. The Dolphins have a first down at the Pittsburgh 49-yard line. Mel Blunt, the right quarterback, was the man who made the initial contact. So, Mark Fleming, as uh, Morrill has gone to his tight ends once to Mandich and once to Fleming. Uh, this afternoon, Fleming picks up the first down at the Steelers 49-yard line. First down, Dolphins from the Steelers 49. Here's a play fix. He drops the throw. He is firing down the middle. It is intercepted with 25, 30, Glenn Edwards, 35, 40, 45, and he is in the Dolphin territory at the 48-yard line. Glenn Edwards from the safety spot, a second-year man. From Florida a and gets his second pass interception of the season. He intercepted the ball back at the Pittsburgh 25 and runs it back to the Dolphins 48-yard line. All right, Bradshaw, the quarterback, is Shanklin and Young, the wide receivers. McMakin, the tight end. The running backs are Frank Harris, 32, and uh, Frenchie Fuqua, 33. First down at the Dolphins 48. Here's a handoff to Harris over the right side, and he gets inside the 45, down to about the 41-yard line. Setting the rest of the... Uh, Offense for you for the Steelers. Kolb and Mullins are the tackles. Sam Davis and Bruce Van Dyke, the guards. Ray Mansfield is the center. Defensively for the Dolphins, Den Herter, Fernandez, Hines, and Stanfield on the front four. Swift, Bonacani, and Cole the linebackers. Foley and Johnson, the quarterback. Scott and Anderson, the safety. A second and three. Pittsburgh from the, Dolph from the Dolphin 41-yard line. Bradshaw, the quarterback, waits for the snap from center. He spins, hands off to Harris, comes to the near side. He cuts back to his right, first down, inside the 35. He's down to the Dolphins' 32-yard line. 
First down for the Steelers. They mark the ball at the Dolphins 31. All right, Shanklin puts to the far side. Al Young to the near side. Juqua and Harris are the split backs and behind Bradshaw. Here's the handoff. Harris straight ahead. And he puts those 230 pounds in there down to about the 27-yard line. We have a second down and six. The ball at the Dolphin 27. Shanklin splits far side. Young to the near side. Bradshaw sets his ball club. He hands off. Harris has knocked down right at the line of scrimmage, and he may have slipped. And let's see where they're going to mark the football at the 27. No gain on the play. That'll bring up a third down and six. The ball at the Miami 27-yard line, and here comes Bob Matheson in on the prevent defense. A third down and five and a half from the Dolphins 27-yard line. Shanklin splits far side. Young to the near side. Waiting for the snap from center. Somebody jumps from the Dolphins. Contact is made. And flags go down. Offsides is the call against the Dolphins. It is a first down for Pittsburgh. So that is an unfortunate break for the Dolphins. As Matheson goes out, Colin comes back in on the defense. The ball is at the Miami 21 and a half yard line. 7.59 to go in the first quarter. No score. Young puts near side. Shanklin far side. On the uh, snap, uh, keeping the ball as Bradshaw goes straight ahead on the sneak, gets inside the 20 to about the 18. Second down, and we'll call it eight. The ball at the Miami 18 and a half. Colin out, Matheson in on the defense. Bradshaw brings his club out, and Shanklin splits to the far side. Young to the near side. Juqua and Harris are the split backs now. Harris sets a couple of yards off to the right side. Bradshaw, the pitch to Harris. Sweeps to the right side, cuts to his left, and he's knocked down inside the 15 at about the 13-yard line. The ball is placed down at the Miami 13. It'll be a third down and about two yards to go for a Pittsburgh first down. They have the power blocking in, and they set in tight. A third down and two at the Miami 13. Harris and Fuqua are the split backs behind Bradshaw, waiting for the snap. He ends off the Fuqua, hits the middle, and digs and drives. It's going to be close to a first down. Down to about the 11-yard line. And let's see where his second effort got him. He got a first down without a measurement. The ball is at the Miami 11-yard line. First and 10. All the Steelers on the march. A ball control drive with 6.02 to go in the first quarter. The ball at the Miami 11-yard line. They leave that same alignment in there for power blocking. Bradshaw has not thrown a pass. Duquan Harris are the setbacks and behind Terry. He hands off to Franco. Sweeps to the left side. He is caught from behind and gets to about the 8-yard line. Nick Bonacani wrapped those arms around him and dragged him down from behind. It's a pickup of approximately three yards. And let's see where they're going to mark it at the, uh, about the eight-yard line. We'll call it three. It'll be second down and seven to go for a first down and eight yards to go for a score. 5.18 to go in the first quarter. Second down and seven for a first down, eight yards to go for a score. They keep that power blocking unit in there. Here is the pitch to Franco Harris. Sweeps to the right side, gets the block. Turns the corner, he's down to the five to the three-yard line before he's knocked out of bounds on the far side. Here's the big play, third down and two for a first down, three yards to go for a touchdown. Out the Dolphins' three-yard line, Bradshaw brings his ball club up. The power blocking unit still up there, waiting for the snap from center as he sets his ball club. He uh, fakes, runs to his left, he is down at the three, the two, he fumbles the ball to the end zone, it is recovered by the Steelers, and it's a touchdown. Jerry Mullins, the right tackle, I believe, is the man who fell on the football. In the end zone, Jake Scott had a shot at it. And let's see if they're going to blow it uh, dead down there. There's somebody injured on the play. The ball, as uh, Bradshaw was hit, squirted loose. Rick, I think it's Bradshaw down there on the sideline. And it looked from here as if right tackle Jerry Mullins is the man who got the touchdown and fell on the football. Bradshaw is shaken up on the play. Jarella is in to try the point for placement. And I'm not surprised that Bradshaw was shaken up on that play because Jake Scott took a beautiful shot at him, and that's the reason he fumbled. All right, Jarella will try the point for placement. It looks like he may have injured his arm. And in the hole is Bobby Walden. Time, uh, four minutes and 15 seconds. Left to go in this first quarter. The drive started with the pass interception by Edwards. Low snap from center. He gets the kick up. And it is good. Dolphin football action continues from Three Rivers Stadium in Pittsburgh with a score. Pittsburgh 7, our Dolphins nothing. Rick Weaver, Luke Prinkmer, and Henry Barrow back at Three Rivers Stadium in Pittsburgh. A 48-yard drive. Nine plays all on the ground. Bradshaw was shaken up by Jake Scott on a tremendous hit at about the two-yard line. He fumbled the ball into the end zone and offensive right tackle Jerry Mullen Recovered it for the Steelers for the touchdown. Jarella converted, and it's a 7-0 ball game. It appears to be Bradshaw's left wrist, but uh, I have a hunch he'll be okay. That drive consumed six minutes and 21 seconds. The Dolphins 
are now in a position where they did not want to be trailing early in the ball game. Morris and Fleming go out. Mandich and Kicker in in the Dolphins' offensive alignment. It'll be a third down and seven from the Dolphins' 23-yard line. They had penetrated to the Pittsburgh 49 earlier in the ball game before Morrill threw an interception. On the snap, Earl drops the throw, has good protection, firing deep upfield, Warfield open, he drops the ball, and out of bounds it goes at the 44-yard line. Incomplete pass, and so Larry Stiple will have to punt. And that will uh, make bring up a third down and 10 for the Steelers from their 40-yard line. Bradshaw sets his ball club, waiting for the snap from center. A long count, he will drop straight back, he sets up, he fires, it's low, it's incomplete. He uh, dumped that ball like a bullet over the middle and it hits Shanklin, the intended receiver in the leg. And so it brings up a punting situation. Bobby Walden, the leading kicker in the National Football League with a 43.8 average on the season. He averaged 48 yards per punt against Oakland last week, will kick. In the line of scrimmage, the Steeler 40 and Walden stands for 25. He gets it out of there and boom's a beauty. Holy Toledo, what a kick. Way back, bounces at the three and goes into the end zone. So it's a touchback. He brought out the 20-yard line. 60 yards on the punt for Walden, and he's got a tremendous way. We got the, a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from the Three Rivers Stadium in Pittsburgh with the score. The Steelers 7, the Dolphins nothing. Rick Weaver back at Pittsburgh. The Dolphins from their 20. First down. Warfield foot far side. Near side fully. Here's the handoff. Zonka. Big hole left side across the 25. Joe Dragon tacklers with him out to the 30. And they ran the counter that time, and Larry found a tremendous hole over the left side, and he may have picked up a first down. And a great fake on behalf of Earl, Rick. I don't think half the team knew that Larry had the ball. It is a first down for Miami, and uh, Zonka gets out to the 31-yard line, 11 yards on the pickup. We have a minute and 14 seconds to go in the first quarter. Dolphins trail 7 0. They snap out of the huddle with Warfield to the far side, fully to the near side. Passing, uh, Morrill is three for five with four yards to complete an uh, average on the yardage and the one interception. Here's a handoff going inside the kick and he has stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. 34 seconds to go in the first quarter. Dolphins trail 7-0. Second down and 10 from there, 31. Warfield split far side, fully to the near side. Kick and Zonka, the split back in behind Morrill. Morrill on the snap, drops straight back to throw. He sets up. He fires, it is caught by Fleming over the middle, up to the 45, and he gets out to the Dolphins, 46 for a first down. 15 yards on the pass completion from Morrow to tight end, Mara Fleming, and he is dropped almost immediately by strong safety Mike Wagner. And that Miami offensive line did the job like they know how to do it so well, Rick. They gave Earl all the protection all the time he could use, even fall in perfect cup so he could step up into it. That is the end of the first period. Dolphin action continues from Three Rivers Stadium in Pittsburgh. With the score, the Steelers 7 and our Dolphins nothing. In case you joined us late, the Morrill's pass in the first period was intercepted by safety Glenn Edwards. Run back from the Steelers 25 to the Dolphins 48. Took them 10 plays, all on the ground. Bradshaw fumbled at the goal line, but tackled Jerry Mullins, recovered the end zone for a touchdown. Here's a handoff to Morris, and he's right back. A loss of four, it'll be uh, second down and 14. Mercury again appeared to stumble as he took the handoff from Earl Morrill. All right, we have a second down and 14. Dolphins football at their 42. They're having a rough time moving on this uh, fired-up Steeler defense. Willie and Warfield are split. Morris and Zonka the split back. Morrill drops the throw. He sets up, fires over the middle. Fleming again has got it inside. The 50 down to about the 46-yard line in Steeler territory. That'll be about two yards shy of what they need for a first down. The tackle made by strong safety Mike Wagner, a second-year man from Western Illinois. They pick up some 12 yards as, again, Morrill goes to the tight end, and uh, this is about as much as the Dolphins have gone to the tight end trying to open up the defense. It'll be a third down and two at the Steeler 46. Morrill has converted two out of three first down attempts, or third down attempts thus far. This is the Dolphins' deepest penetration, a third down and two from the Steeler 46-yard line. The two tight ends are in. Here's the handoff to Morris. Sweep to the right. He goes outside and cuts through off. As he started to make his cut, Jack Kim, the left side linebacker, is the man who made the great play. Morris started to cut back into his left, and uh, as he changed his mind and started to continue outside, he was dropped for a three-yard loss. Actually, a four-yard loss back at the 50-yard line. So that will bring up a fourth down, and Larry Seipel is in to punt. 
just excellent defense on behalf of Ham on that play. Actually, Mercury hesitated just a little bit, and that's all that Ham needed. Just that moment's hesitation, he made the tackle. Wen Edwards, who uh, has a kick return average of 9.2 as a single safety. Seiple standing back to the Dolphins, 35. Now he's going to run with the ball. 50, 45, 40, 35 to the 30. Down to the 25 to the 20. The 15, and he's out of bounds. Down at the 12-yard line. The Dolphins running out of fake punt formation. Larry Seiple was the ball carrier, and he picked up a first down as he rambled some 38 yards down to the 12-yard line. We had a dream earlier this week in which he ran 81 yards for a touchdown. He didn't quite make it on that play, but at least he ran it. Rick, you wouldn't believe this, but actually those defensive men, the defensive line, was standing there looking downfield and Stifle ran right by him. Didn't even see him coming. 38 yards on the fake punt run. By Larry Seiple, and the Dolphins have a first down at the Steelers' 12-yard line. Morrow breaks his ball club out. Willie slips right. Warfield to the near side. Morris touches the flat man right, and Zonka is in behind. Earl Morrow from the Steelers' 12-yard line. Moving from our right to our left. Here's a handoff to Zonk. Outside he goes to the right, puts his head down, drags the tackler with him inside. The 10 to about the 9, possibly the 8-yard line. They put it down at the 9. So it's a gain of 3. It'll be second down and 7 yards to go for a first down. 9 yards to go for a touchdown. That 38-yard run by Larry Seipel out of fake punt formation. The big play for the Dolphins thus far. The ball at the Steeler 9. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. Morrow dropping back to throw. He lobs one. It is caught by Zonka at the 5. Gets off a tackler and goes in for a touchdown. Larry Zonka. Who has not been thrown to hardly at all this year. Going into the ball game, he caught five passes for 48 yards on the season. And Zonka... Got around the tackler at the five-yard line, and uh, as the receiver just rambled into the end zone for the touchdown, that is his first TD as a pass receiver this year. And Mercury Morris is, uh, or rather, uh, Gurley Fremen is in his right of point from placement, and uh, Earl Morrow will hold. I think Gurl has seen that weakness out there, Rick, where those flare people are going to be open, and you probably see a lot of it. Waiting for the snap. Here it is, set down, the kick is up, and it is perfect. Dolphin football action continues from Riverfront uh, Second Three River Stadium in Pittsburgh with a score all tied up at 7-7. Seven seven. Rick Weaver and Luke Rickmer and Henry Barrow back at Three River Stadium in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That drive, 80 yards and 8 plays. The big play was the 38-yard fake punt run by Larry Seiple. Zonka, a 9-yard uh, touchdown pass reception from Morrill. Earl's 11th. And uh, the Dolphins are right back in it. 7-7 with 11.57 to go in the second quarter. That's the first touchdown scored on the Steelers this season in the first half. Here is your premium kick. Steve Davis, three yards deep in the end zone. Starts out 5, 10, 15. And he has cracked at the 18-yard line. Return of some 22 yards. Henry? Rick, we saw on that touchdown at extra point uh, where the Miami fans are sitting in the upper deck. A lot of your white handkerchiefs waving that time. All right, the Steelers will start from their 19 with 11.37 to go in the half. Terry Hanratty is now the Steeler quarterback. Number five, the former Notre Damer. And perhaps there was something to the injury to Bradshaw's arm. Here's the handoff going inside. Big hole is Chiplock. And he rambles out to the 31. Picks up the first down. Hanratty the quarterback with Harris and Chupla the running back. Young splits far side. Shanklin to the near side. First down, Steelers from their 30-yard line. Score is tied 7-7. Waiting for the snap. Hanratty hands to Harris. A trap. He's got a hole up the middle and he's not knocked down until he gets out to the 38. Second and three. The handoff goes to Fuqua, and he is tripped up, but not before he gets the first down. Coming to the near side, he cuts back to his left and gets out to the 42-yard line. An approximate five-yard gain. This drive started back at their 19, and it'll be a third down and five. They must get the ball to the about the Dolphins 48 for a first down. Clock moving with 8.22 left to go in the half. That defensive line is finding out that you really got to pound in a Harris. You can't just give him an arm tackle. You've really got to go after him. Young splits left. Shanklin to the near side. Hand ready back to throw his first pass. He is firing deep. Shanklin is down here. And it's overthrown at the 18-yard line. Incomplete forward pass. So that will bring up a punting situation. And Bobby Walden, who got off a 60-yarder in his first attempt this afternoon. The NFL's leading kicker goes back to punt. Jake Scott will go deep. And Dick Anderson shallow. As the Dolphins safety man, 8.09 left to play in this first quarter. Line of scrimmage, 47. Here's a snap, and uh, he gets it out of there. Low trajectory kick. It's going to bounce at the 18. Scott's going to let it roll inside the 10, down to the 5. And it goes into the end zone, but it was cut back at about the 5-yard line by the Steeler coverage, and they almost missed it. 
in their desperation to get down, and the man who covered was John Dockery. A 47-yard punt for Walden and the uh, Dolphins. Now, wait a minute. They're going to move the ball out to the 20-yard line and say it was not touched. We thought we, we, thought we saw the official drop his flag, but uh, his hat, rather, but he did not, and the Dolphins get a touchback out of it. Dolphin football action continues from the Free River Stadium in Pittsburgh with a score tied 7-7. And Zonka picks up two. It'll be second down and eight. Bobby Walden has a 56-yard punting average thus far. Morrell is four for six, or rather six for eight unofficially with 40 yards, a touchdown pass, and one interception. So he's not having a bad afternoon as far as the passing game. Pulley splits right. The near side, Warfield. Morris and Zonka, the eye backs behind Morrell. Dolphins moving from our right to our left. Here is the pitch going to Mercury. Gets the block by Zonka. Turns the corner. 25, 30. Up across the 35. Still going to the 40, and he's out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Zonka threw a tremendous block on the defensive end over there to allow him to get outside, and Mercury Morris rambles for some 27 yards out to the uh, Dolphins' 49-yard line. His longest run from scrimmage on the season, 33, and the Dolphins have a first down. It'll be third and seven. Dolphins at the Steeler 48. And I think Otto Stowe's going to come in there, Rick, and tell him to throw that ball and watch those mid the middle linebacker as well as those other two. They're really bunched up in the middle. Uh, Henry Davis has gone out. They put an extra defensive back in, anticipating this very thing. Ralph Anderson, number 49 in. Here's the pitch to Morris. The sweep to the right. He is going to be contained for a loss. Back at the Dolphins' 49-yard line. Never got the corner turned. Jack Ham, the left side linebacker, rode him into the ground. It's a loss of three on the play, and so Seiple will have to punt. Minus scrimmage now. The Dolphins' 49. Seiple will stand back at the Miami 34, and Glenn Edwards goes back as a single safety. Larry has punted once this afternoon for 36. He's run the other time for 38. On the snap, Seifel gets the kick out of there and gets a nice one. It'll be fair caught at the Steelers' 15-yard line by Glenn Edwards. So they will start from there. A 36-yard punt again for Larry Seifel. The Steelers will start from their 15 with 4 minutes and 40 seconds left to go in this uh, first half. And the score tied 7-7. And that'll bring up third down and 13 for Pittsburgh. The ball at their 25-yard line. The big play in this ball game thus far was the uh, fake punt re, uh, run by Larry Seipel uh, on a fourth down punt situation, which he ran 38 yards and gave the Dolphins excellent field position down at the Steelers 12. Big play for Pittsburgh was the pass interception. Hanratty drops back to throw. He fires out. It is caught by Young. Juggles the ball at the 30. Running for the near side. Takes the tackler. He is hit and now shakes off another one. He is still bouncing off people at the 35 up to the 36. Well, there's a guy that's as slippery as an eel. He was hit about four or five times and just kept bouncing off people. Mike Colin finally knocked him down. That is not going to be enough for a first down, and the Steelers will have to give up the football. They mark the ball out at the Pittsburgh 37-yard line. A pickup of some 15, and they needed 16, so watch it here because it's a fourth down and one. I don't know what kind of a runner Walden is, but they may not want to gamble uh, with this same type of play that Seiple ran a while ago, this deep in their own territory. Here is the snap to Walden. He will get it out of there, and boom, the beauty. Nice high spiral. Back is Jake Scott. Makes a fair catch for the Dolphins at the Miami 20-yard line. So the Dolphins have the football with a minute and two seconds to go, and uh, Walden's average 56 yards on the two first two punts. Punt at that time 43 yards and no return. All right, the Dolphins, as time is in, have a third and six in their 24-yard line. 21 seconds to go in the half. Warfield and Twilley both. Deployed to the far side. Morris and Zonka, the split backs behind Morrill. Score tied 7-7. Seven seven. Morrill on the handoff. Uh, runs back to his right to throw. He fires. Warfield's got it and is out of bounds. Up at the 34-yard line, maybe the 35. And that will stop the clock. That will be good for a Miami first down. And Ralph Anderson from the safety spot makes the tackle. Warfield makes his first catch for a 10-yard gain. This will be the last play of the half. Third down and four, Dolphins from their 40. Morrill dropping back to throw. He sets up. He firing deep down the far side for Howard Twilley. It is overthrown, and he is really flattened out at about the 19-yard line. He was hit. The ball was overthrown, incomplete. And that ends the first half with the score. The Pittsburgh Steelers 7, our Miami Dolphins 7. Steelers at the south end zone, moving from our left to our right for this third quarter. Score tied 7-7. Yepermian gets the signal and uh, hesitates for a moment, comes forward, gets his toe into it. 
He sends it high and deep, way out of the end zone, no run back. As Garrow gets off a zinger, a touchback ensues, and the uh, Steelers will start from their 20-yard line. Dan Roddy continues to be the quarterback. Shanklin and Young are the wide receivers. McMicken, the tight end, and Chiqua and Harris will be the running back. First down and 10 for the Steelers from their 20-yard line. Dan Roddy, who played, saw limited action during the regular season because of an injury and because of Bradshaw's excellence, is the quarterback. Young splits far side, Shanklin to the near side. The backs are split in behind Hanratty. He spins, hands to Harris, sweeps to the left side, cuts back to his right. He is grabbed by Stanfield, and he's going to be stopped at about the 23-yard line. Second and seven. For the Steelers from their 23. Young splits far side, Shanklin near side. Waiting for the snap from center is Terry Hanratty. On the snap, fakes the handoff, and he is caught and dropped by Stanfield. As Duqua missed the block, and he jumped back at about the 17-yard line. Stanfield came sailing through the air and clotheslined him. Back at the 17, a loss of six on the play. And there is the first quarterback sack of the afternoon. All right, third down and 13 from the 17. And Henretti drops straight back to throw, being rushed. He fires the ball high. It is caught by McMakin up across the 35, and he's knocked down at the 37 to 38-yard line. All right, that was a big play for the Steelers. First down for them now. At their 38-yard line, Hanratty drops straight back to throw again. He has fast fires. It is caught by Shanklin, and he is not knocked down until he gets inside the Dolphin 40 at the 37-yard line. Hanratty going to the air. And that, of course, is good for another first down at the Miami 37-yard line. Two consecutive great catches by McMakin, the rookie tight end, and by Ron Shanklin, the third-year man from North Texas State. And then the Steelers... On that third down, conversion to McLinkin on the move now. First down at the Miami 37. On the snap, hand ready, hand scoop. Uh, big hole left side, cuts that side. 30, 25. Jake Scott uh, may have a shot at him, and he's knocked out from behind by Curtis Jackson inside the 15 to the 13-yard line. Goes Frenchie Fuqua. And they are higher than a kite right now. First down at the Miami 13-yard line. A tremendous hole. And Raddy with a uh, real drive going now. The ball at the Dolphin 13-yard line. On the snap, here's the handoff to Fuqua. Pounding inside, gets to the 10. On to the way. 11.33 left to go in this third quarter. Young splits left, Shanklin to the near side. Fuqua and Harris, the split back. And Raddy, short drop, fires. The ball is knocked in the air and almost intercepted. It was deflected by Bob Hines. Third down conversion for Hanratty and for the Steelers, four for seven. He just had a big one a moment ago when he hit McMakin with that pass. Third down and eight at the Dolphins' 11. Young splits left, Shanklin near side. Duqua Harris, split back behind Hanratty. On the snap, he pitches to Harris. He comes to the near side. He gets the corner turned and is run out of bounds at about the eight-yard line. He did not, he's about five yards shy of what they needed for a first down. So Jarella comes in, and they uh, will get a field goal try here by Roy Jarella. Uh, Bobby Walden, the putter, will hold, and this will be a 15-yard uh, a attempt from the near side inbounds hash mark down here at the north end of the field. If he makes it, the Steelers will take the lead. 10.59 left to play in the third quarter, waiting for the snap. Here it is, low snap, set down, the kick is up, and it's good. Low snap, but Walden got it up there, and he uh, ripped it right through the upright. 15-yard field goal for Jarella. With 10.56 left to play in the third quarter, Dolphin football action continues from Pittsburgh with a score of the Steelers 10, the Dolphins 7. Back at Three Rivers in Pittsburgh, and Jarrell preparing to tee it up for the kickoff following his 15-yard field goal, a drive that covered 72 yards, nine plays, a lap time, four minutes, as Jarrell gets the official whistle, and the ball is on the tee, and we await uh, his approachment of the football. Here it is. He gets the kick high. We may get a run back here. Morris about a yard deep in the end zone. Now he decides to go down on one knee as the coverage was down. And uh, a good move by Merck. And the Dolphins will start on the touchback from their 20-yard line some 80 yards away. And Bob Greasy now is the Dolphins quarterback. Bob Greasy. As the uh, Steelers get their first look at the uh, player of the year last year. Fully split right. As Chicken Drucker, the eye back. Greasy. Waiting for the snap. Here's the handoff. Kick. Bounces into the middle. Gets about a yard. Maybe two. Out to the 22-yard line. Jim kicks the ball carrier. Morrow in the ball game. 7 for 11. 51 yards. One interception and one TD pass. Greasy. Splits fully off to the far side. Warfield is the other end. And he's set in sight. Kick and drunk of the eye back. Second down and eight for the Dolphins from their 22-yard line. The Steelers lead 10 to 7. 
Waiting for the snap. Long count. Here's the pitch going to kick. Juggles the ball. Keeps his hands on it. Cut down over the left side. And he is about cut in half by mean Joe Green. Out at the 23. Got only a yard. They started the uh, sweep to the right side. He cut back to his left. And Green was waiting for him. And just about tore him in half with 270 pounds. At the 24-yard line is Fleming Market. So it's a gain of two. Mandich comes in and uh, Fleming goes out. It'll be a third down and six. Greasy. Trying to move the Dolphins now. Nine minutes, 42 seconds to go in the third quarter. The Steelers lead 10 to 7. Henry Davis is out. Anderson is, is in, in as, as an extra defensive back. Mandich splits off to the far side. Fully and Warfield are the wide receivers near side. Third down and six. Dolphins from their 24-yard line. Greasy, the quarterback, drops back to throw. He sets up. He fires the middle. Warfield's got it. 35, 40, 45, 50. Down to the 40, 35 to the 30. He's dragged down from behind at the Steelers 25 yard line. Greasy on that slant over the middle to his favorite receiver, Paul Warfield, 51 yards. And they mark it down at the 24 yard line in Steeler territory. And Greasy comes up with a big play of the ball game for the Dolphins. A slant over the middle. Warfield had a blocker down there with him. He was caught from behind, or he would have scored, and the Dolphins have it at the Steeler 24. He had all sorts of time, really, Rick, to drop that ball in there, and if man that you've just been able to cut down one man, I think we would have seen Paul Warfield go all the way. He was on the wrong side, as far as Warfield was concerned, and Mike Wagner, the strong safety, is the man who saved the day. First down, Dolphins at the Steeler 24-yard line. Greasy splits fully to the far side. Warfield to the near side. Kick and Zonka, the split back. 8.32 left to go in the third quarter. Steelers lead by a score of 10 to 7. Dolphins first down at the Steelers. Uh, 24. Here's Zonka slamming over the left side and gets to the 20. The ball at the Steelers 20. Fully split right. Warfield near side. Chicken Zonka split back. Second down and six from the Steelers 20 yard line. Greasy long count. Here's the handoff. Zonka slams over the right side and booms his way down to about the 17 yard line. That is still some three yards away from what they need for a first down. And they put the ball down just outside the Steelers 17. It is third down and a long three yards. Actually, it's closer to four. We'll call it four. Third and four for the Dolphins. Ball just inside the Steeler 18-yard line. Let's see if Greasy can convert another third down situation. Fully switch right. Dolphins have uh, double receivers put to the near side. Third and four from the uh, Steeler 18. Somebody jumps from the Steelers. Back to throw goes Greasy. Flags to down pass. Is intercepted by linebacker Jack Ham at the eight-yard line. And he's running up the near sidelines and has belted it out of bounds at the 33, but there was a flag before the pass got away. Dwight White, the right side defensive end for the Steelers, appeared to jump offside, and if that is the case, the interception will be nullified. The pass was intercepted by Jack Ham, the left side linebacker who uh, intercepted one against the Raiders last week and had a total of two on the uh, season, the regular season. And this is, uh, appears to... What it's going to be, and it's not only will the Steelers lose the pass interception and retention of the football, but they will have to give up a first down here as the Dolphins will pick up a first down, and that's what it is. Defensive offsides against the white fight, the right end, and uh, the Dolphins come out of that one smelling like the proverbial road. A first down at the Steelers' 13-yard line as offsides is called against Pittsburgh. The drive remains alive. 6.53 to go in the third quarter. Greasy brings his ball club out. Kick and Zonka in the eye. Fully as the wide man puts to the far side. And now Kick sets as the wingman to the near side. From the Steeler 13-yard line. Greasy with that staggered cadence of his. Spin hands to Zonka and he has hit for a loss. Trying to come up to his left. He's knocked down at the 14. Waiting for him was Dwight White, the right side defensive end. They mark it at the 14-yard line. It'll be a second down. And 11 for a first down, 14 yards to go for a score. That Dwight Wright really looked all charged up, Rick. He really barreled down there. No way that Larry could get away from him. Six minutes, 30 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Earl Morrell is okay, and the Gracie just seen game action here to try to uh, give the Steelers more look in this uh, third quarter. Fully splits right, Warfield near side. Second down, 11. From the 14-yard line, Kick and Zucker remain the split backs. And behind Gracie from the Steeler, 14-yard line. Bob drops the throw. Has time. Now he's going to spin out to his left. He's having to scramble. Moving back to the far side. Now he fires. It is caught by Mara Fleming down at the five-yard line. It is not enough for a first down, but he gets uh, about two yards away before he's knocked off his feet. The tackle on the play was made by left cornerback John Rouser, who saved the touchdown. Greasy was a scramble situation. Finally found Fleming open, moving off to his right, and hit him with a nine-yard completion. It'll bring up a third and two from the Steeler five. 
And Mark Fleming just showed what a great old, what a great pro he is. He, he was covered out there and just kept moving around, seeing that Bob Greasy was cornered back there and finally got himself open and made a completion. Greasy is two for two, 61 yards. Fleming has caught uh, four for 41 yards. Third and two from the Steeler five-yard line. They set in tight with the defense. Greasy marks the signal. Here's the handoff. Kick slams over the right side, and he may have the first down. As he gets down inside, close to the three-yard line, Let's see where they're going to mark it. Somebody grabbed him right as he almost got into the end zone. Let's see where they're going to mark it. If they don't make it, it'll be fourth down and just inches, and we're going to get a timeout called by the officials for uh, a measurement. Let's see where they set the front part of the marker down. It uh, looks like it's going to be a little bit short. It is. They missed it by about a foot. They missed it by about a foot. Now, what do you do here? Trailing 10 to 7. With uh, 5.03 to go in the third quarter. And it appears that they're going to go for it, Henry. That's right, uh, Rick. Don Shula told him to go for it. All right, the ball, let's see, just outside the three-yard line. They only need a foot. The defense is fired up. The offense is fired up. Let's see if the Dolphins can get it. If they don't, they'll have to turn the ball over. Trailing by three, the clock moving with 4.56 left to go in the third quarter. They break out of the huddle. They've got the two tight ends in, and Warfield sets as a wingman right, kick and bunk up. Now the split back, Gracie the quarterback, fourth down and a foot at the three-and-a-half-yard line. Waiting for the snap. Greasy with a long count. Here's a handoff. Kick. He's got the first down. He's down close to the goal line. Over the right side. Kick in behind his buddy. Larry Zonka. Let's see where they're going to mark it as they on pile. Everybody getting up slowly. That was a, uh, another big play for the Dolphins. And Greasy with enough confidence. It's the first down. Down at the two-yard line. A first down and goal for the Dolphins. Down at the uh, Steelers' two-yard line. Warfield, they still have the two tight ends in there. Warfield sets with the wingman off to the right side. Greasy has directed this drive all the way. Big play, that 51-yard pass completion to Paul Warfield. Here is the handoff. Zonka trying to uh, make a penetration over the right side, and he didn't get very much. Maybe a half yard before Ben McGee throws his 260 pounds in there. Rick, and one thing to note here, Bob Greasy's going right over Mean Joe Green on the last two plays, right over top of him. They set the ball down right at the two. He did not get an inch. Second down and goal. Dolphins football at the Steelers' two-yard line. Clock continuing to move with 3.43 to go in this third quarter. Steelers lead by a score of 10 to 7. The Dolphin drive started back up the 20-yard uh, line. They're trying to punch it over. Kick and bunk of the eye back. The two tight ends remain in. Warfield, the wingman right. Second and goal from the two-yard line. Greasy at the quarterback spot. He drops. Now he pitches the kick. Down to the right side. Cuts back to his left. He's got a touchdown. Jim kick as he got a good block and cut back on the sweep to his right, cut back to his left and just falls it into the end zone and the Dolphins march 80 yards with 321 to go in his third quarter and Jim kick scores the TD on a second and two situation. That's for uh, kick on the season. Is his sixth touchdown rushing. He's caught one passing. All right, you're premium with an important try for the uh, point. Morrill in the hold. 321 left to play in this third quarter. Dolphins lead 13 10. Snap, set down, the kick is up. And it appears to be perfect. It is. Dolphin football action continues from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with a score. Our Dolphins 14, the Steelers 10. This is Rick Weaver back at Pittsburgh. The Dolphins lead 14 to 10. Welcome back to Bob Greasy. And he showed him he was back with an 80 yard drive, 12 plays that consumed seven minutes. And 29 seconds. The Dolphins with a four-point lead now. Pearson and Davis back to receive your premium kickoff. He squibs it. It bounces. Grabs at the five. By Pearson out to the 10. The 15 to the 20. He uh, breaks the tackle. 35 to the 40. And is not knocked off his feet until he gets out to the 45. And Garrow, your premium, makes the tackle on the play. Garrow finally came up with a tackle. And boy, did he save the day on that one. And the coverage kind of broke down. And they're going to say that he got out to the 47-yard line, so it's a 42-yard return for Preston Pearson. Rick, the wind has really picked up down here on the field. It's blowing paper and trash all over the field and uh, may affect the kicking and passing games. I don't know. Well, maybe that front that we were promised earlier today is beginning to move in. It, it has picked up. It's a little windy. Third and seven. Hanratty drops the throw. He fires in the middle. It is knocked away and dropped. Sent it for tight end Larry Brown, and he couldn't hold out of it, so it brings up a punting situation. Line of scrimmage the 50. There was no flag. It was just a brown paper sack. Walden stands back at the 35. Scott back deep. Here is the snap. He gets the kick out of there, and he booms the beauty. This one is going to go all the way into the end zone on the fly, and the Dolphins will start from their 20-yard line. 
A 50-yard kick. There is a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from Pittsburgh with a score. Our Dolphins 14, the Steelers 10. It's now third down at eight. As a kick goes out and Morris comes in at a running back spot, the Dolphins must move the football here. This would be a good situation to get a sustained drive moving in, leading 14 to 10 and just 36 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Leading 14 to 10. Here's another big third down play for Greasy from the Dolphins 22. Third down and eight. On the snap, the handoff goes to Morris. Sweep to the right, cuts back to his left, turns the corner, and he did not make the first down. He's knocked out of bounds on the far side of the field. Shy of the 30-yard line, not by much. Maybe a yard or so. Uh, safety man Mike Wagner made the tackle, so the Dolphins will have to give up the football here as they could not uh, move it. And it's marked at the 29. Morris got seven, but they needed eight. So Larry Seipel will kick from the 15. And back as the deep man goes Rocky Blyer for his first appearance, except on specialty teams this afternoon. A good kick here is essential. Here is the snap. Seipel gets it out of there, and he hangs it high. Nice long kick. Blyer backs up, grabs it at the 27 to the 30. Cuts for the near sidelines and has run out of bounds at the Steelers' 35, maybe the 36-yard line. And there's a penalty flag back down upfield. A penalty flag back down upfield. And it's apparently is going to be against uh, the Dolphins. And he may have to kick again. The Dolphins were detected on the penalty. And the penalty sets the ball back at the Miami 15-yard line. And this means Seiple will have to stand back on the goal line. And uh, I'll bet you they put on a heck of a rush. This time uh, it is the holding call. We finally get it from the officials. 18 seconds left to play in the third quarter. And this is a key situation now. As far as Seipel getting off another good kick. And that uh, punch coverage is absolutely essential. Isn't it? They got 10 men on that line, Rick. All right, waiting for the snap. Here it is. They put on a fair rush. He booms one out of there. It's a short kick. High. Gets down. Blyer makes the fair catch at the Dolphins' 49-yard line. Only a 34-yard punch that time by Seipel. And the Dolphins detect the holding. Now they move it to the 48. So it's only a 33-yard punt, and the Steelers come out of that with excellent field position. And the clock shows just 11 seconds to play in the third quarter. There's the gun. That's the end of the third period. Dolphin football action continues from Pittsburgh with a score. Our Dolphins 14, the Steelers 10. The Steelers have excellent field position with a first down to Miami 48-yard line. The pressure on the Dolphins defense. Terry Hanratty, who is 5 for 9, 57 yards through the air as a quarterback. On the snap. Hands off to Duke Wah, or Harris, rather, over the left side. Takes the tackle and is not knocked off the feet until he gets to the 41-yard line. A seven-yard pickup. All right, the ball at the uh, Dolphins 41-yard line. And Reddy, who has gone most of the way except for the first quarter. Play fake, bootleg, back drops the throw. He is firing out to the far side. Lloyd Mumford knocks it down, and he could have had an interception had not he been leaping through the air. He is wide open up the far side lines, and he knocked it down at the 22. Was intended for Shanklin, and the ball was really underthrown. Mumford leaped in the air, knocked it down, and had he held onto the ball, he had nothing but daylight between he and the goal line up the far sideline. That brings up a third down and three situation for the Steelers at the Dolphins 41. All right, Shanklin split far side, Al Young to the near side. Duquan Harris, the split back, and ready, drops the throw again. He sets up, jumps one over, it's incomplete. A little slant over the hook pattern over the right side intended for Shanklin, and Hanratty threw it into the ground. He had a good rush that time, and Nick Bonacani really put the pressure on him. Put the pressure on the uh, receiver. And the Dolphins' front four was beginning to break through. Hines really applied the pressure, so that brings up a Jarella field goal attempt. With 14-11 to go, this will be 48 yards. His longest has been 49. He has not been too accurate from outside the 30-yard line. Walden will hold a 48-yard attempt down here to the south end zone from the... Uh, from the near side inbound hash mark. Snap, set down, the kick is blocked. Rolling loose at the 50, the Dolphins chasing it. Who's gonna get it? And Curtis Johnson comes up with it, I believe. It's still loose at the Steelers 49 yard line. Johnson kind of dribbled the ball, basketball fashion, off the turf. And the Dolphins come up with it. The Dolphins come up with it. We do not have a clarification as to who blocked it. We will get the information for you. If we can check it, uh, uh, Lou. Rick looked like Doug Swift ended up with the ball. Johnson uh, kept first hand on it, but then good old Doug. And it appeared that Curtis Johnson came up with the uh, fumble, uh, the blocked uh, field goal recovery. Henry, they're giving Curtis Johnson credit for blocking that, Rick. Curtis Johnson gets credit for the block and uh, apparently for the recovery. That's the danger of trying a long field goal. From that point in the field, it was blocked by the Dolphins' specialty teams, and Miami comes up with the ball at the Steeler 49-yard line. 
A first down. Now let's see if Greasy can move them. Morris and Gronk of the eye back and behind Greasy. And Trillia splits to the near side. Warfield is set in tight off the far side from the Steeler 49. Here is the pitch going to Morris. Sweeps to the left side. He's going to get the corner turn. He does and is run out of bounds on the far side of the field. Somewhere in the vicinity of the 46-yard line. I think there's a lot of cheering in the stadium. It's because uh, Terry Bradshaw is warming up behind the Steeler bench. All right, Warfield splits far side. Twilly comes to the near side. Morris and Zonka in the eye. Second and six Dolphins from the Steeler 45-yard line. Greasy drops the throw. Dropping deep. He fires it out. Fleming's got it. The 42. Puts a deke on one man. He gets around him. Still digging and driving. and gets to the 36-yard line. Marvin Fleming with a great effort. He caught the ball at the 42 and picked up an additional six yards. And that is good for a Miami first down. The tackle made by safety man Mike Wagner, along with linebacker Jack Ham. 12.59 to play. The Dolphins lead 14 to 10. First down at the Steelers' 36-yard line. Warfield splits left. Morris and Zonka the split back behind Greasy, who has played all the way in the second half in relief of Earl Morrow, who played all the way in the first half. Greasy with a long count. Hands off. Morris, quick trap, hole in the middle. 30 down to the 26, and he may have another first down. Depending upon whether he stopped his forward progress, no, he's about a yard shy at the 27. Jack Ham, the linebacker, made the tackle. That was a quick trap, great blocking up front. Mercury Morris gets nine yards. And what a hole by Larry Little and Jim Langer. Boy, did they clean it out. Morris, 11 carries unofficially, 48 yards. Rock at 12 for 38. Kick with a touchdown, six carries, nine yards. And the fans begin to shut up the chant defense. Second down and one for the Dolphins at the Steeler 27. That block field goal by Curtis Johnson. And the recovery by Johnson, the big play here. Receipt with a second and one from the Steeler 27. He's been known to throw, but now he's not. He hands off to Morris. He's got the first down over the left side. Down to about the 25. That is a first down for Miami at the Steelers' 25-yard line. Bob Reesey with a first down at the 25. Puts fully to the near side. Zonk and Morris, the eye backs in behind him. Dolph is moving from our left to our right toward the north end zone in this final period. Reesey, long count at the line of scrimmage. Hands off, Zonk, a big hole down to the 25. Cheering tacklers with him inside the 15 to the 14-yard line. And they're working that middle and trapping the Dickens out of that front four of the Steelers right now. Mike Wagner made the tackle, and that is good for another Miami first down. As they mark it at the 14, Zonka rambles for 11. Rick, this is his fake play where you leave that tackle naked. Your, your right side pulls out, and Zonka comes around behind him. And, and Green just got one hand on Larry, and Larry kept going. Uh, first down at the Steelers 14. Warfield splits left, fully to the near side. Morris and Zonka, the split backs in behind Greasy. Uh, 10.55 to go. Here is the handoff. Zonk over the right side, down to the 10, down to the 5. He goes. Larry Zonka close to another first down. And that Dolphin front line really firing off the football now. Mike Wagner, the safety man again, makes the tackle. That is a gain of 9. Zonka is a yard shy. It'll be second down and a yard to go for a first down, 5 for a score. And Pulley comes out. Uh, Zonka, 14 carries, 58 yards unofficially. Rick and I'll tell you, we, we're seeing Mark Fleming have, having his best game of the year. He always comes up and he's big games where you got the pressure on. He's blocking out there just as well as he's catching that ball. They put in a couple of defensive tackles on the goal line defense. Ernie Holmes, 265 pounds. Steve Furness, uh, who's also 260. Second down and one for a first down. Five yards to go for a score. Here's the handoff. Morris cuts outside. He caught for a loss. Back at the eight-yard line. And the man who came sailing through there was Ralph Anderson. And uh, John Rouser, the cornerback, also. They marked the ball back at the eight. A loss of three on the play. So this brings up a third down and four to go for a touchdown situation, or a first down situation. And eight yards to go for a touchdown. Jack Ham comes back in on the defense. And shout defense, defense. They have contained the sweeps except for one occasion this afternoon when Morris got outside for 27 yards. This is a big play for Greasy and the Dolphins. Warfield splits left, fully to the near side. Morris and Zonka, the split backs in behind Greasy. They need to get to the four for a first down. It's third down. Greasy hands off Zonka, right side, and he gets about to the four-yard line, and that's going to be very close to what they need for a first down. And Re Bob Greasy has signaled to Don Shula that they're short by just a couple of inches. And they are about a foot shy, and uh, one of the Steelers is laid out on the field. It will be fourth down and a, about a foot to go from the four-and-a-half-yard line for a first down. Four and a half yards to go for a score. L.C. Greenwood, the defensive left end, is the man who was out. Now he gets up and is being assisted off the field. This is the biggest play of the game for both ball clubs. If the Dolphins can get a first down, they will have a first and goal from a very short yardage in. If the Steelers can hold them, they'll take over, trailing by just four points with 9.17 to play. 
So it's fourth down and a foot from the uh, Steelers' four-and-a-half-yard line. Rick, I think we'll see Larry Zonka get it. I'm sure he can get it that yard. This drive was keyed by the blocked field goal and recovery by Curtis Johnson on a 48-yard attempt by Jarella. The fans got up defense, defense. Let's see if the Dolphins can do it again on a fourth down and short yardage to keep this drive alive. If they don't make the first down, of course, they have to give up the ball. They lead 14 to 10. 9.07 left to play. They've got the two tight ends in. Kick and Zonker the split back. Fourth down and a foot from the Steelers' four and a half yard line. We see the quarterback. Waits for the snap. Long count. Spins hands off to Zonka. He slants over the right side and he's got the first down, I believe. Down to about the three-yard line, and that should be more than enough. Zonka over the right side gets the first down, just as Lou Frickmer predicted. So it's a first and goal for the Dolphins at the Steelers' three-yard line is where they're going to put it down. Rick, the thing that really you really can note here in this uh, second half is they've really been working on Mean Joe Green. They haven't been running away from Joe. They've been running right over top of him for about the entire half. The clock moves with 8 minutes, 25 seconds to go. Dolphins lead 14 to 10, a first and goal at the Steelers' three-yard line. We see... Keeps his two tight ends in there. Sets Warfield as the wingman left. Kick and Zonka, the split back. Then behind Bob. First and goal from the Steelers' three-yard line. Waiting for the snap. Here's the handoff. Kick slams into the middle, and he gets to about the line of scrimmage, and that's all. As he is smothered by black jerseys. Here comes Greenwood back in on defense. They on pile, and he got little or nothing. He didn't get a, an inch out of it. It'll be a second and goal from the three-yard line. They're down here at the north end of the field to our right. Seven minutes, 45 seconds to go. Rick, that sure a lot of beef there in that Cedar defensive line. It's about an eight-man line, and uh, they're all pinching, coming down. All right, the two tight ends remain in. Warfield touches the wingman left. Second and goal from the three. Kick and Zonka, the split backs in behind Greasy. Greasy, the quarterback up under center, barks the signals, hands off the kick, starts outside, cuts inside. He rams in for the touchdown. Jim Kick over the left side. He started outside, planted back to his right, and rammed a tackler just into the end zone for the TD. So Greasy directs his second touchdown drive, and Kick gets his second TD of the ball game from three yards out. And Joe Green was the man that was impaled upon the horns of Kick that time, and into the end zone he went, but Kick got it in. So your premier will try the points from placement. Morrow will hold. 7.25 left to play in this football game. The Dolphins now with a 10-point lead. Your premium can make it 11. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. Set down. The kick is up. And he has it perfect. It's 21 to 10. Dolphin football action will continue in one minute. The score are Dolphins 21 and the Steelers 10. Rick Weaver back at Pittsburgh. Dwight White, the defensive end, was shaken up on that last uh, conversion attempt by uh, the premium. It's now 21 to 10. Garrell preparing to kick off. Greasy in his two drives here has used up almost 15 minutes. That drive, 49 yards, 12 plays. A lap time, 60, 6.38, and kick over from three yards out. Dolphins lead 21 to 10. Here's your premium kickoff. Pearson and Davis are back deep. The kick is high and shallow. It'll be grabbed at the eight-yard line by Pearson out to the 10, the 15, to the 20, up the near sideline. He is going to be contained by Dick Anderson, I believe, at the 28-yard line. And there's a big uh, pileup down there, a pushing and shoving match, 18-yard, 20-yard uh, return for Pearson. And they put the ball down at the 29-yard line. So the Steelers have their work cut out for them. They trail by 11 points with 7 minutes and 11 seconds to go. Ernie Holmes is getting a little heated up down there, Rick, and the official had to take him off the field before Bradshaw, he got Bradshaw, Bradshaw is back in at quarterback now. Shanklin and Young are the wide receivers. Bradshaw drops the throw. He sets up, fires. It is caught by Brown, the tight end, and he's knocked down at the 39-yard line. It'll be second down and a foot. Ball just inside the Steelers' 39-yard line. The Dolphins with an 11-point lead, 6.46 to go. Hanratty was 5 for 10, 57 yards from the Steelers, 39. A second down and a foot. Bradshaw sets his ball club. He fakes the handoff, drops the throw. He fires the middle. He's caught by Young at the 45. He gets down to the Dolphins, 40 inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. And even further than that, Al Young, the second-year man wide receiver, and they put it down at the 37. Bradshaw going to the air here. Has hit two in a row, and the Dolphins' pass defense is going to have to tighten up. They're playing without Tim Foley, who was injured earlier in the ball game. A first down at the Dolphins' 37. All right, Shanklin splits right, Young to the near side. Bradshaw drops deep again. He is setting up, firing in the middle. It is caught by Shanklin at the 15, knocked down at the 13-yard line. Three out of three for Bradshaw, and he is moving him in a hurry. Dick Anderson saved the day with a tackle. That is good for another first down, and Bradshaw has gone to the air three consecutive times. 
And three completions on the season. He uh, threw for 1,887 yards and was 47.7 in his percentage. But here he has three for three. And the Dolphins, who uh, just a moment ago were really out in front, now are in trouble. With 5.27 to go, the Steelers first down at the Dolphins 13. Here's another pass. Young grabs it at the five. Great catch. Touchdown. him any time at all. He just whittled the Dolphin pass defense. It's now 21 to 16 with 521 to go and Jarella can make it 21 to 17 with Wald in the hole. What a drive. Snap set down. The kick is up and it's good. Dolphin football action will continue in a minute. The score are Dolphins 21, Pittsburgh 17. Rick, we were back in Pittsburgh at the brand new ball game. The uh, Dolphins lead now cut to 21 to 17. It took Bradshaw just a minute and 52 seconds. Four to three pass completions. He had a touchdown, a 72 yard drive. Four for four, fantastic passing. The Dolphins pass defense riddled. And Durell's kickoff now will come up in just a moment. It started to come down rain and then the sun came through here. Uh, Charlie Lee, Mercury Warren, back to receive the kickoff, and we have five minutes and 21 seconds. They got just exactly what they wanted. A quick drive and a touchdown. Boy, did he rip our pass defense. 21 to 17, Dolphins lead now down to four points, 521 to go. Here is Jarrell's kickoff. He gets it high. It will be back there. It will be taken by Charlie Lee, and he will down it in the end zone. The Dolphins will start 20 yards away, and the fans set up the chat. Defense, defense. The Dolphins. Off that block field goal by Johnson, consumed uh, 749, 638 by the red drive. And then the Steelers came back on Bradshaw's throwing arm and just ran it right down our throat. So it's a brand new ball game. We need a drive, ball control here. We need to move the football. First down to Alton from our 20 yard line. On the snap, here's the handoff. Drunka hits the middle and gets out for the 23, and that's all. All right, second down and seven, Dolphins from their 23 yard line. This is where it gets knuckle popping time. Four minutes, 45 seconds left to play. The Dolphins lead down to four points. Warfield flips to the far side. A second and seven, Dolphins from their 23. Zonka and Morris are in high behind Greasy. Greasy has done it twice here in this uh, final quarter. Can he do it again? On the snap, the pitch goes to Morris. The eye middle, three to the right. He loses the yard. Knocked out of the 22. It's a third down and eight for the Dolphins back at our 22 yard line. The clock moving with four minutes to go. The Dolphins lead 21 to 17. What a drive that was by Bradshaw. This is the big play for the Dolphins. Play in Warfield. Put off the far side. Third and eight. Miami to the 22. Greasy. Going back to his left. He sets up. Then he runs. Gets away. Now comes back to the near side. What's he going to do with it? He's back to the five. Now he's back to the end zone. Now he looks again, fires, and throws the ball into the ground. And complete mandate for the intended receivers. He just couldn't find anybody open. He's all the way back in the end zone and came out and threw the ball and had it for Mandich and it's an incomplete pass. Great pass drop and probably by the Steelers, so they'll get the ball back. And Larry Seifel the last time got off a short kick. And this pressure is on him. Three minutes, 33 seconds to go. This one is an old whip by a long shot. Don't forget our locker room show, win or lose. Following our broadcast, Glenn Edwards standing back at the 40, 38 yard line. Cycle back at the 6. Minus the range, it off at 22. Kendrick makes the snap. Here comes the front by Cycle. He angles the fire off the near side. It is grabbed by Edwards at the 40. Starts to the far side. Gets the block. 45. Oh, the ball! Who's got it at the 45 yard line of the Steelers? The Dolphins, let's see, it's recovered by Pittsburgh. Edwards was stripped of the ball. He fumbled it. But the Steelers, at least according to the officials, come up with it. And getting up off the bottom of the pile is Warren Bankston, number 46, who we just activated for this game. He's from Tulane. All right, time is in. The Dolphins uh, and the Steelers here. Who's going to go to the Super Bowl? The Dolphins have a four-point lead, 3 to go. First down, Pittsburgh out there, 45. Brad draw the quarterback, Tupac Harris, the running back. He drops the throw. He sets up, he has time, it's caught by Stanfield, gets away, it's caught again by Denher, and knocked out way back at the 35-yard line. 
Then they'll spun around. This guy, you would, as you recall, is a great runner. And uh, slowed him down. Den Herder got in and dropped him for a nine-yard loss back at the 36. So Stan Phil and Den Herder, the two ends, both get credit for that. And Rick, what a competitor this Terry Bradshaw. When Stan Phil wrapped all around, he's still looking for somebody to throw that ball to it. And probably could have and found somebody open. Second down, 19. For the Steelers, back at their 36. Three minutes and four seconds to go. Here is Bradshaw rolling back to his left. He's going to run a throw. He's back up to 35 to the ball. Stop by Harris. He had him cut across the middle out of the backfield, and he dropped the ball at the 43. Boyle County and Swift were right there to make the tackle and had he held out of it. So that brings up a third down in 19, and here is the big play of the football game right here for Pittsburgh from their 36-yard line. The incompletion to stop the clock with 257 to go. The Dolphins lead 21-17. Third down and 19. They must get the ball to the Miami 45-yard line for a first down to keep this drive alive. Out of the huddle, Shanklin took right. Young is a slot man right, but he put off Larry Brown and tight end to the near side. Third down, 19. Bradshaw sets his club. He drops the throw. He sets up. He is being rushed now. Is he going to run with the ball? He's being pursued out of the scramble. Firing back in the middle. It is intercepted by Bowen County at the 50, 45. He is going to be dragged down by uh, the Steelers at their 47 yard line. Nick Bonacani, the Dolphins 11 year veteran, the defensive captain, as that looked like the same play, the same scramble situation that Harris was, or uh, Bradshaw was in last week when the ball was deflected away and Harris caught it. He was moving to his right, threw it back into the middle, and Bonacani makes the interception. The Dolphins have the football with the Steelers at the Steelers. 47 with a first down, and on a bigger play never was made by Nick Bonacani. Two minutes and 28 seconds left to go. The Dolphins have all their timeouts left. The Dolphins lead 21 to 17. Clock moving now with 2.21 to go. We see the quarterback, Cliff Warfield, far side, pulling inside. Morris and Zonka are the quarterback from the Steeler 47. Waiting for the snap. Here's a handoff to Burke. Sweeps to the near side. Stumbles. Regains his balance. 45. 40 up the near side. 35. Knocked out of bounds. Down at the 30 yard line. Mercury Morris coming out of the backfield to the near side. Almost stumbles. He got off on the sprint. And a great block thrown by Howard Foley on the crackback that time. And the sprung Merck loose for a 17 yard gain. A first down to the 30 yard line. The clock has stopped at 2.05. We're coming up to the two-minute warning. Dolphins on that pass interception by Nick Bonacani. What a pass interception to Bradshaw, who had previously sliced the Dolphins defense up. Now we lose right, fired back into the middle. All right, out of the huddle they come. Warfield, quick left. Slowly to the near side. And he's got more into the slot man left. First down, Dolphins at the Steelers' 30-yard line. On the snap, the handoff goes to Zonka. He is hit right at the line of scrimmage. No game. Now that uh, should bring up the two-minute warning. The tackle made by linebacker Jack Ham. The Dolphins must maintain possession here, and there is the two-minute warning. Dolphin football action will continue in one minute. The score are Dolphins 21 to Steelers 17. This is Rick Weaver back at Pittsburgh. The Dolphins have a second and 10, two minutes to go. The Steelers 30-yard line leading by a score of 21 to 17. Unofficially, the Dolphins will rush for 180, pass for 121, 301 yards, and total offense, no quarterback sack. By the Steelers who led the league in that department this year. All right. Warfield foot left. Rocker and Morris to slip back to the behind three. Two second down and ten from the Pittsburgh 30 yard line. Waiting for the snap. Long count. Here's the handoff going to work. He is caught. Gets away. Cut back to his right. Little to the back for 25. 20. Still going inside the 20 to the 17 yard line. Mercury Morris. He was hit back behind the line of scrimmage. Shook off the tackler. Hurled another one at the 25 and with great effort gets the first down. For the Dolphins and more importantly, Maine. Maintains possession of the football. The Steelers call a timeout to stop the clock. And according to our statistics, that is their second timeout used. They had to use one out on an injury earlier. The ball is marked down at the Pittsburgh 18-yard line. The clock is stopped with a minute and 43 seconds to go. Mercury Morris unofficially has carried seven times for 70... 17 times for 77 yards. And uh, Zonka, 18 times for 66 Kick has scored two touchdowns, eight carries for 12 yards. Morrow in the first half, there's nothing wrong with Earl that we know of, but Greasy just came in and played second half. Seven for 11, 51 yards, one TD, one interception. Greasy three for four, 70 yards. First down, the Dolphins at the Steeler 18-yard line. Greasy hands off to Zonka, puts his head down and rams the middle. More importantly, holds onto the football and gets to the 15-yard line. 
One minute, 35 seconds left to go. The ball is marked at the 15-yard line. The clock continues to move with a minute and 18 seconds to go. Dolphins lead 21 to 17. It's second down and seven for the Dolphins at the Steelers. 15-yard line. Greasy on his two drives in the second half consumed about 15 minutes. Great ball control. As if he had never been away. Twilly splits near side, Warfield far side. Somebody jumps from the Steelers as Greasy again is the famous for staggers his cadence. Joe Green. The left tackle is the man who moved. Larry Little pointing his finger in Green's face and uh, we'll get the official's call. The penalty is going to be offsides against the Steelers and Greasy does it again. This guy looks like he has never been away. Offsides against the Steelers. Marks the ball down at the Pittsburgh 10-yard line. And they have now a second down and two. Jim Mandich comes in, replaces Twilly. The clock uh, is stopped on the penalty with a minute and two seconds to go. The Dolphins, a minute and two seconds away from the Super Bowl against either the Washington Redskins or the Dallas Cowboys. The ball at the 10-yard line. A uh, second down and two. Warfield sets the wingman left. Zonka and Morris are the split backs and behind Greasy. From the Steeler 10-yard line. On the snap, the handoff to Zonka. Hurdles into the middle, and it's going to be very close. They lost the football, but the play had been blown dead. Henry Davis, Joe Green, Ben McGee all in, in there to meet him, and we're going to get uh, the chain apparently brought in from the near side. 53 seconds to go. Dolphins lead 21 to 17. A third down and less than a yard to go at the uh, Steelers' 8-yard line. And, Rick, they're putting in that goal line defense. They've got all the beef in here. They've got all the uh, big defensive linemen, all the reserves coming in to stop them getting the first down. All right. Dolphins need a first down here, and they would love to get on the board with another touchdown. Anything can happen in this uh, game of football, as the Steelers proved against the Raiders last week, and if we have to settle for a field goal here, that would give us only a seven-point lead and give them a chance. So let's see what happens here. The Dolphins have been able to convert on this uh, short yardage this afternoon. Kick is in with Zonka from the eight-yard line. Third down, less than a yard. Greasy hands to Zonka, puts his head down, rams the middle, and it's going to be very close. He's shot in there, and it's uh, the all-important call by the official as to where his progress was stopped, and I don't think he made it. As they on pile very slowly, and of course the clock is stopped on the, as the officials stop it. Now Pittsburgh calls a timeout, and we were unsure that is their third and final timeout. The Dolphins did not make it, and it'll be a fourth down and about the same distance, about a foot to go for a first down at the Steeler eight and a half yard line. The Steelers use up their timeouts. So this is the big play of the ball game. A lot of big plays this afternoon. Larry Seiple's 38 yard run with that fake punt. Curtis Johnson's blocking the field goal and recovery. Nick Ronicotti's uh, pass interception. Bob Greasy's uh, tremendous play calling here in the second half. Now we're going to get a measurement. It is not much, maybe less than a foot. Fourth down, less than a foot at the eight-yard line. Greasy over, talking to Shula. 48 seconds to go. Fourth down, less than a foot. The Dolphins keep the two tight ends in. Kick and Zonka, the splitbacks in behind Greasy. The big play of the ball game. They don't make it. The Steelers will take, take over. Greasy on the snap. Hands off. Zonka, he didn't make it. He's thrown for a loss over the left side. And the Steelers come back with the uh, possession. Great defense. And the tackle was made by Glenn Edwards. They mark it at the Pittsburgh nine-yard line. So they don't have any timeouts left, and they line up with their two-minute offense. Now the clock will start. Bradshaw is uh, some 91 yards away with uh, 39 seconds. He drops back to throw. He uh, swings one out to Harris up the nine to 10. He runs it out of bounds over there, up at about the 18-yard line. That'll be close to a first down, and he runs it out to stop the clock. The Dolphins unable to make a first down and three tries with an penalty assist, and Stanfield got the Bradshaw after he released the football and really clobbered him. And Rick, I'm sure every one of those Dolphins over there realized that if you take 17 and 7, that's 24, and 24 would be 24 to 21, did lose. All right, the ball at the 19-yard line, second down and about the half yard for a first down, 32 seconds, and the fan, I know exactly what's going through everybody's mind. Can they do it again? Young split left, Shanklin far side, back to throw. Is Bradshaw, he fires, it is... Intercepted by the Dolphins at the 37-yard line. It is Mike Colin. Captain Crunch picks it off, and the Dolphins have the football at the Steelers 31. As Mike Colin comes up with his interception, the biggest one of his career, and the Dolphins have the football back with 23 seconds to go and a first down at the Steelers 31. Bonacani and Colin with key interceptions. What a tremendous ball game. And this Steelers team is, is, is everything that we've heard. 
23 seconds now. They don't have any timeouts left. The clock is moving. 19 seconds. The Dolphins will run it out. The Dolphins are going to the Super Bowl for the second time. January the 14th, we'll have it for you on WIOD from Los Angeles. And don't forget all of our talk shows leading up to it. The Steelers start for the dressing room. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. And that's the end of the ball game. The Dolphins win number 16 and go into the Super Bowl with a chance to become the only unbeaten team to go all the way through. What a fantastic year as Lou Tickmer hollers his Indian war chant in the background. The final score again, our Dolphins 21, Pittsburgh 17. We'll be back with a final wrap-up after these announcements. The Dolphins win their 16th in a row this season, knock off the Pittsburgh Steelers 21 to 17, and the Dolphins are in the Super Bowl against either the Washington Redskins or the Dallas Cowboys. Before he hits for the Dolphins locker room, Henry Barrow is already in there. Let's call in Lou Quickmer for a final comment on the game. Rick, I think we've got to give all the accolades to that Miami defensive line today. By their holding holding the Steelers down to that three points when uh, Gorilla had to kick that field goal, that 15-yard field goal, there was the big difference. If they, had, if they had put that seven points up there on the scoreboard, it would have been a completely different ball game. Then uh, we wouldn't see it as it is right now. And I just think that every one of those guys that worked, that worked in the pits today, whether they be on defense or whether they be on offense, really earned this win today. And congratulations to each one of them. Looking down at the final unofficial stats, and Bob Gracie is back. Earl Morrill has already been there. The Dolphins have two of the finest quarterbacks going. And again, this is what makes this team so awesome. When somebody comes off the bench, Gracie in particular, he had uh, two touchdown drives in the uh, second half and uh, consumed nearly 15 minutes. Uh, total time in both drives, he was unofficially 3 for 4 for 70 yards. Morrill had a long touchdown drive to his credit in the first half, 7-11 for 51 yards, and had a touchdown pass to Zonka, and also uh, had one intercepted. The unofficial passing uh, receiving yardage as the Dolphin quarterbacks were not sacked this afternoon, a great tribute to the job that Monty Clark uh, did and Howard Schnellenberger in getting this offensive line ready for play this week. The leading uh, pass-sacking team in the league, the Steelers, were shut out. Warfield caught two for 63. Zonka, a touchdown pass, one for nine. Morris, one for a minus six. Fleming was a big receiver, five for 50. Mandich, one for five yards. In the rushing department, Zonka, 22 carries, 71 yards. Uh, it was Mercury Morris, 17 carries for 77 yards. Jim Kick, eight carries, 12 yards, and two touchdowns. And Larry Seipel had one uh, Big punt run for 38, 37 yards. The Dolphins uh, were able to come up with uh, uh, turnovers, and, uh, and particularly in the latter stages of the ball game. And a great deal of credit to Nick Bonacani and to Mike Cullen for those key pass interceptions. They were 5 for 11 in third down conversions this afternoon. The Steelers were 4 for 12. On the other side of the ledger, Bradshaw and Hanratty alternated because Bradshaw was shaken up early with a shoulder, but he came back in and proved that he was ready to go. Uh, Bradshaw was 5 for 10, 81 yards. Touchdown pass to Al Young. Hand ready, 5 for 10, 57 yards. The Dolphins had a couple of key sacks this afternoon. Stan Phil and Denherter got in on the quarterback. Shanklin caught 2 for 49. Young, 4 for 54 and a touchdown. Harris, 2 for 3. Brown, 1 for 9. The Dolphins really shut off Franco Harris from the rushing department in the second half. Harris wound up with unofficially 16 carries, 76 yards. Fuqua, 5. Our check at eight carries for 47 yards. Bradshaw carried twice for five yards. With those two big uh, pass interceptions, Bonacani and Cullen, and the Dolphins are in the Super Bowl. Final score again, our Dolphins 21, the Steelers 17.